10 Tips for First-Time International Travelers You set your eyes on that international destination and are super stoked to book your flight to that country that's been on your wish list for ages. Well, international travel can be stressful, even for a seasoned globetrotter. But for a first-timer, it can feel outright overwhelming. First, there's all the pre-preparation like obtaining a passport if you don't already have one, applying for visas, planning out where you'll stay and how to get from point A to B, and then, after a long flight, you have to orient yourself in a foreign country where the time zone, language, and the currency may be different from what you're used to. Not to mention any surprises that are likely to pop up along the way. But the beauty in travel lies in the fact that you don't need to know everything. It's a learning process. As long as you're equipped with some basic knowledge to cover the most important aspects of first international travel, you'll have room to grow and learn and build some confidence for your next trip abroad. In this video, I will tell you the top 10 tips for first-time international travelers, so like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our uploads. And of course, today's video is brought to you by TripAdobito.com, the premier platform for booking tours and activities in this city and is the proud sponsor of this video. Interested in traveling, click the link in the description below. 1. Choosing the destination Perhaps you've been dreaming for a long time about seeing elephants in Thailand or visiting the colas in Australia. Maybe you don't know where exactly, but you just know you need to go. If you're overwhelmed by all the incredible places you can see now that you have a passport, then it may be hard to choose which destination to visit on your first international trip. 2. Check your documents. Before you start booking flights, there are certain documents you need to make sure are in order. For starters, international travel requires an updated passport. You'll also want to make sure you have enough pages in your passport for visa stamps. While most countries only require a quarter page for their stamp, others may require a half of a page or more. Once you have your passport sorted, it's time to check on visas. Many countries will offer U.S. passport or visa holders a tourist visa on arrival. However, other destinations, like Australia or Vietnam, require you to apply ahead of time and often charge a fee. Make sure you check the visa requirements for your final destination and take care of any paperwork. Give yourself a long booking runway. It's important to book international travel at least a month ahead of time to get the best ticket prices. Start looking for flights as soon as you have an idea of when you want to travel. You can use apps to keep track of flight deals for your desired destination. Make sure you're taking advantage of mileage loyalty programs and travel rewards cards to get the most out of your flight. 4. Compare transport and stay before booking. Most international trips are going to require you to fly there. But for getting around your destination, consider other options such as buses or trains. Most international destinations have really good metro and bus system. I can be intimidating on the first day, but a little help from their representative and you are good to go and save a lot of money than the cabs. Rome to Rio is a great tool for seeking all the route options from point A to point B and figuring out which mode of transportation will be quickest and cheapest. Take a look at your options before booking your accommodations. While hotels are always a good option, don't forget to do research on hostel, guest house, and Airbnb options where you're traveling. These offer you the chance to connect with other travelers and locals. 5. Consider the not-so-common essentials. Whether or not you're the type who spends a lot of time thinking through what clothes you're taking on your travels, there are some essentials that you'll definitely want to bring along. For starters, a good item for any traveler to have is a digital luggage scale. This scale allows you to track the weight of your checked luggage. It comes in handy, especially on your return flight with all your souvenir purchases. You'll also want to pick up a universal power adapter. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.